All right. Let's start by <clears throat> clicking on part. So let's start a new part. And before we do anything else, we're going to save. So let's go to File, Save As. And for me, this is period one. So you should all be in your intro to Autodesk. And then I'm going to be in period one. And this time, let's call it Taurus. So again, a Taurus is that similar shape to a donut. No, not toilets. Tortoise? Not tortoise. Taurus. Not a tour bus. Yeah, so as soon as you have this, Make sure for you guys, it should say intro to Autodesk, not period one, obviously. And then when you have Taurus written down in file name, click save. Yep. Okay. This is Taurus the Wolf. Okay. Why on edge? I auto searched it right here. Oh, that's good. It's somebody else. The ink machine. David, what is that? Okay, let's close that for now. Alright. Start a 2D sketch. And again, let's do this on the XY plane. We got circle. And then using your scroll button on your mouse, let's uh, push that button down and move our XY coordinate plane down so that we, again, just have quadrant one right here. We like using that because our X and Y values are both positive. Why is mine different? Mine is on full screen. Okay. So we're gonna choose line. Everyone choose line. We're not we're not doing spline or spline control vertex or spline interpolation. Regular line. And. Let's just make, all we're going to do is make a straight vertical line, but it has to be, it has to be vertical, it has to be straight, otherwise it won't rotate around that axis point. Isaac. So I'm not going to make this measurement um, perfect. What I, well, let's do this. I want you to start from the x-axis, and you can start like mine is mine's at zero point five, so just somewhere around this area. So somewhere down here, I don't know, towards the middle. It's fine as long as you just start it from there. I want you to click once. And I, I just want you to make sure that this angle 
is 90 degrees. That way we know that this line is perpendicular from the x-axis, so we know that it's going to be straight. Yeah. David, I can't hear her. Sorry. Say again. Did you click on line? Oh, I made it a hundred. Sorry. Okay, we're gonna do this next part, and then I'm gonna come over there and look at it because it might have. I don't know. Might have become frozen. I'm not sure. So, right now mine says zero point eight four six. Can you guys make this line 10.0? 10.0 and then hit enter. Make the line 10.0 and then hit enter. Oh, no. I didn't make it 90 degrees. God dang it. What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? I already made it. Oh, man. Oh, man. I gotta do this. I gotta find it or something. <laughs> just make a vertical line. That's all I want. It doesn't matter right now if you're in a different quadrant. I'm okay with it. So we don't need to make another line. So hit escape on your keyboard. And then I'm going to click home and front. And we're going to zoom in a little bit. This how small it is. Why is it this small? David. The thing picks up your voice the whole time. Oh, sorry. Whoa. All, all we want is a vertical line. That is 10 inches long. So if for some reason you didn't get that, you can click undo. Click line again and make a vertical line. You guys know how to edit something if you feel like it's not correct. And then all I did using, I clicked home and it, it really zoomed me out so I zoomed back in with the scroll button. So we have a, it's a 10 inch vertical line. <clears throat> And then we're gonna click on circle this time. So we haven't we haven't used circle yet. Well, some of you have maybe taken a look at that, but we haven't I haven't taught it yet. I want you to click circle. And then you can actually uh, you should probably see this if you get close to like the middle of this line. You see this dotted line that comes out. That means that you're exactly in the center of that line. So that's five inches away from the bottom, right? Half of 10. Um, so we're gonna make, and this, I know this isn't gonna be exact. I just want you to try to make yours look like mine. So I'm dragging my circle out to here, to the right. I'm gonna click once and then I'm gonna make a circle you can change the value, so let's make it 3.0, and then I'm going to hit enter. You don't, you want the circle to be away from this axis line, because remember, we're going to revolve the circle around the axis. If you put it way too close to the like axis point, it's not going to create, you're not going to see a hole in it. Yeah. Circle. Wait, nice. You have, to, you have to click. You have to click to make it. I made it 3.0. Just make a circle next to this line. That's all I want you to do. What? Your line's not straight? Then go to circle. If your line's not straight, that's not going to work out. You oh, need to right click yeah. it and delete it. <laughs> you have to fix your state in. 
it has to be it has to be somewhere between this area. It can't be above it. Okay, it looks like most of you have this. All, all we did was, and if, if you're having trouble changing the diameter right now, not a huge deal. Just make a circle off to the right of this vertical axis line. So I'm going to click escape to take us out of circle. Out of circle. And then remember what I wrote on the whiteboard, we're going to take this circle and we're going to revolve it around the axis line. So click finish sketch and then click home because we can't see it. Click home and then take a look at my screen and just make sure yours looks similar. And then next to extrude, you should see a button that says revolve. Click on revolve. And then it doesn't automatically revolve it, right? Which you'll encounter sometimes. You, act, you have to go over to the shape and you're going to end up clicking it. But first, I want you to, I'll zoom in so you can see this. So there's this option for profile, there's this option for axis. I want you to click on axis. So click axis. Because you need to select which axis you're going to rotate this circle around. And then go over to the axis line. And when you get close to it, it should turn red. It might turn green, depending on what your background looks like. Mine turns red. If it turns a different color, just click once. And then I want you to go back to, well, actually it automatically does this for you. It goes back to profile. And then I want you to click on the circle. Oh, And then it, it'll appear. And then you should see the gold arrow. And if you want, you can kind of mess around with that gold arrow and see that you don't have to make a full donut. You can make part of one. So you can kind of mess around with this. You can make a full one. So you can change the degree manually from here. So right now it's a full torus because it's 360 degrees. If you change that to 180, it'll change it into a half torus. You can change it to 90. So everyone choose 360. Everyone choose 360. Choose 360. And click OK. Click OK. And then I want you to, so holding shift on your keyboard and then the scroll button on your mouse. I just want you to rotate around this so you can kind of see what it looks like. And then we can also change the color. So I have, kind of looks like a Cheerio or something. I can't even... As soon as you change the color, I want you to, you click the green check mark, and then you're going to hit save. So let's save this. Okay. I'll come take a look at it. Is there a specific 